You know, the first half we just uh, we didn't play defense. We just let them get either inside and dunks or foul line, or we or we gave them wide open looks from the three point line. It was probably the as bad a defense as we could play. And uh, the second half they were 0 for 8 from the three because we got them, pressured them, got them off their spots. Um, we made a couple bad offensive mistakes at the end of the game where Allen just kept the ball and they took it instead of hitting the open guy. But Marek went to the foul line, made his two, and Allen went and made his two, and that doesn't always happen. You know, um, we're a good free throw shooting team. We're not getting to the line enough, but we tried to get there. We tried to get to the basket, but our defense was just, it was a different thing. You know, 26 points they scored in the second half because we guarded them. The first half, we just let them shoot. You know, Quincy had some opportunities down low, and he just didn't convert. We had some mismatches there, and I think he had, he had discouraged them, and his defense suffered. But, you know, Allen made a couple big plays late, got Buddy in open three. Marek got Buddy in open three. And uh, so we got just enough to edge in front. But it, it was just our defense was better in the second half. And... Uh, we took care of the ball better. Kadari, the first half, he wasn't ready for the press. They made two bad turnovers right away, but then he opened up and was able to get in the lane and make some plays. He made a big play at the end to get us the, the lead again, and I, I, I thought he was just really good getting to the basket, which is what he can do. Uh, Marek was really good defensively. He battled in there. I mean, he's just mismatched, and he just keeps battling people out there. We were close on the boards. I'm really disappointed Robert and Jesse got in and just, you know, we're not, couldn't, I mean, just no factor, no factor at all. We think Barama might be able to play a little bit. Wednesday he practiced a little bit, but he wasn't, I don't think he was full ready to go. He said he might be able to play today, but he really didn't act like he was. We think he might be able to go a little bit on, uh, on Wednesday. But, you know, our defense has got to be good, and it wasn't. And when it became better or got to where it was pretty good, our, our defense was pretty They made some hard shots to get to the 26 that they got. The end of the game, you know, we said contest the threes, but don't foul. You know, I don't know what we're thinking there in that situation. Um, to foul the three-point shooter. I don't know what Allen was thinking when we had the ball and the lead, and he's got the ball and he holds it and they just take it from them. I don't know what they're thinking in those situations. But considering the way we started and played in the beginning, uh, this was a, a really, really good win, and, and we'll take it and uh, try to get ready for Wednesday. Thank you, Coach. Our first question will be from Mike Waters. Mike, you're on mute. Mike, you're on mute. Can you ask that again, please? Sorry, I thought you were going to unmute me. Um, Jim, with the way State was pressuring the ball, was this sort of set up for Kadari's style of play? It didn't look like it in the first time. He turned it over twice. And uh, then they weren't pressuring when he got back in and he got to the basket, which is what he can do. You know, he made some really good moves. They had a big guy on them. They were playing. This is, again, another thing with Buddy and Allen. They take the best defenders. So they had a big guy on them, and he just got by him in the lane and, and uh, made a couple, you know, really good shots. And then the end, uh, you know, he got all the way to the basket, and they got a really good shot blocker in there, and he just got by and got it off the glass and in. But that's what he can do. He can get to the basket. But hit most of his baskets, Mike, were in the half court. They weren't against the pressure. Our next will be from Mario Sacco. Coach, you touched on it numerous times on your opening statement, but in the second half, was it a matter of the zone moving more and, and getting more hands in the passing lanes, or was it just, you know, uh, a, a different team in the second half for you guys? We just played better defense. You know, our, any defense you play is only as good as the players in it, you know, and 
the first we played the same defense both halves. We've changed it slightly for this game to try to get back on the high post better, uh, leave the corner a little bit more open, more more exposed. Um, this is a very difficult team for us to play with. Beverly, Allen are really good shooters. The other guard that came in is a really good shooter. Helms is really good in the high post, and Bates is really good down around the basket. You know, he had five dunks in the first half, and he, I think he just got a couple in the second half. Helms was really good. He made some tough drives, but they were for twos, and, you know, we didn't give them the three looks. That was the difference in the game. The first half they made had wide open threes. They made, I don't know, what, seven of them or no, six. In the second half, they made none. So, you know, that was the difference in the game. But we've got to play smarter at the end. But, you know, that's, we haven't, you know, we've blown people out or been blown out a few times. And so we haven't had that many games like this where we've got the lead and take care of the ball. And Allen just gets confused sometimes and he's not sure where, where to go with it. He kind of gets lost out there and he just got lost right in the middle of the court where they could take it from him, unfortunately. Our next question is from Stephen Bailey. Hey Jim, I wanted to ask about Quincy. You know, he went from getting a, a true center and Jay Huff guarding him to their four and, and clearly they were willing to switch on him a little bit. <clears throat> as far as his overall development, how important is it for him to I guess to get comfortable with the different matchups he's he's kind of going to face throughout the year. Well, he just was off in the first half, both ends of the court, defensively and and often. I mean, he got the ball in. They had the mismatch. He got layups. He, you know, he got it in around the basket. Um, he's got to know go quick and score. If they all come back in, then you hit the three point shooter. And you know, if he can do that, that will be helpful. He still wants to play on the perimeter and and. You know, I don't mind that if he can get a good look at the three, but he's going to hurt people in college down low. That's where he's going to hurt people. That's where he hurt them in the second half. And, uh, you know, that's where he needs to be effective for us to win. Allen needs to help us, help our shooters get open shots a little bit, not just score. But we're learning. We're trying to learn that stuff. But the bottom line, we need another center. We need somebody that could help us. Jesse is, was, I can't describe what he did out there. It was, I mean, when you let a 6'2 guy come in and make a layup and you're seven foot, you just, you can't play. You can't play. That's the bottom line. You know, he's got to be able to step up and do something at the defensive end. I don't care if he ever scores, but he's got to be able to do something at the defensive end. And, uh, I mean, Marek's doing an unbelievable job, staying out of foul trouble, playing the middle, helping create offense for guys, passing, screening. Uh, I mean, he's playing great. I mean, he, you can't ask any more out of a guy than what he's doing. 11 points, 6 assists, 8 rebounds, but he's the primary defender out there. He's the primary guy just keeping guys. And he forced Helms into some. I mean, Helms made two or three really hard shots, hard shots. And three out of the three he made go in the basket were all the forwards' fault because the forward never stayed and helped. And the forward just got out of the way. Marek did his job perfectly, took him right there, and the forwards just never helped him. And that's inexcusable. I mean, Marek's fighting a war out there by himself. And we've got to help him on the defensive end if we're going to have any success the rest of the way. We just have to. We're just, we're just not helping him. Next question is from Donna DeToda. You kind of, uh, Jimmy, just kind of answered my question. I was going to ask you about trying to take out, take, take Helms out of the play um, with Marek and trying to guard him a little bit more man to man. And, and did that, is that what sort of opened up your defense and helped your defense a little bit in the second half? Well, Helms, he missed a couple, but he made some tough shots. I mean, we wanted that. We covered the shooters and Bates so that he couldn't get the dunk. And now Helms and Marek are matched up. And, you know, he should get some help from the forward where the side he drives on. And he didn't. He didn't. Allen got out of the way. And, uh, but, and again, to his credit, Helms made some tough shots there. Some really tough shots there. But you know, Marek's got to get some help on those plays. And, uh, you know, he did. He didn't get it. And 
This team, these teams are physical against us. Buddy's getting in the lane. They're hitting him on the shot when he's turning, making the turnaround, and they're just not calling it. There's just no call there. I mean, to not be in, have two fouls against them, and they're pressing and pushing up on us. I mean, that's they're calling no fouls. Our next question is from Matthew Gutierrez. Hey, Jim, just two, two quick questions. One on, on Joe. What, what was your thought on how Joe played? And then I was wondering if you could just touch on uh, passing of John Chaney and, and what he meant to uh, you in the game of basketball. You know, I thought Joe was aggressive tonight. He's been aggressive in practice. He got good looks. You know, he was 2 for 10, 1 for 5. He, just, he really just wasn't hitting them, but he will hit those. It's just like Buddy. Buddy got going tonight and was the difference in the game, making threes. So those two guys have to, one of them or two of them have to make shots. I thought the reason he came out the second time is Kadari was so good in the first half that I wanted to see what Kadari could do in the second. He, he made a couple big-time plays again. So it's, it's very helpful for us to have all th We need all three of those guards. I'm really sick of people thinking, well, this guy should play that. We need all three guys to play and be effective. And we need to find a forward that can help us. And we, we, we don't have that. Woody's been a little better in practice. He's been working harder. He gives us more uh, uh, athletic and defensive ability. So he's going to get the call on Wednesday. And I'm hopeful, very hopeful, with two good days that Brahma will be back uh, and be able to play on Wednesday. Next question will be from Danny Emmerman. Hey, Jim. Um, so when you say... When you say any defense is as good as the players playing right. it, um, in this case, is that you know in relation to the lack of you know reliable center that you have, or is it? Do you think that's something else? In the like, first half, in the first half, it was everybody. You know, we weren't covering the three-point shooters. We were, obviously we weren't uh, getting back to help on Bates. So it was really everybody, forwards, everybody, guards. They didn't get by our guards because we protected a, the basket a little bit better. So there wasn't a lot of penetrations uh, against our guards tonight, which is good. But we just didn't do a good job moving out to the three-point shooters and covering Bates in the first half. And also, we gave them six or eight points off turnovers, which, you know, we just can't do that. Joe made a careless pass, and we made another one, Marek is going in to get a two, an easy two. He loses it, and they get a three-point play at the other end. So those are mistakes that we can't make, and uh, we made them in the first half. But, yeah, any, any offense, any defense, uh, you know, it's only as good as the players execute, bottom line. You know, I mean, that's the bottom line. Their press, they got a one or two turnovers when Kadari got careless, but... We scored against their press, so we got some buckets against their press. So that 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 didn't really hurt us in the game, but yeah, it's just it's it's defense. When our defense our rebounding was better tonight, but our defense is was better. It's got to get better as we move on toward the end of this year. We've got to play better on the defensive end. That's the bottom line. We have two more questions. The first is from Dan Tortora. Tim, just what you could say, I know you spoke about Kadari a little bit, but accounting for the last 10 points of the first half, just what he's been off the bench for you. Well, he was great. At the end of the first half, he got he kept us re even reasonably close. Without him, it wouldn't have been reasonable. We'd have been down 15. That would have been a hard climb back. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a building for comebacks. Q made a big comeback today, and we made one to this afternoon or night, whatever it is. But Kadari can get to the basket, and, you know, he just got to continue. He's good defensively. He helps us on the boards. Um, you know, he just was a little unsettled with that press in the beginning, but he, he was fine after that. And our final question will be from James Zuba. Yeah, Jim, I'm curious offensively. Obviously, Beverly's a smaller defender at 5'11". Was, was that a mismatch you were looking to exploit at times, or is that just something you know, that broke down? Well, the when they switch, they get, they get him on Quincy, and we couldn't score. We didn't score on it. The, the, the idea is to score. 
or to force them to come back to help, and then you get an open three. But when you don't make the layup, then they don't come back, and then you don't get the open three. You know, he just had a rough first half, you know, the worst he's played offensively. And then he got it going a little bit in the second half and took it to him. He actually scored over Bates a couple times, made big-time moves. But, uh, you know, we still are trying to figure that out, how to get him down low. We've been doing better at that, and he's really good down there. And, uh, you know, we need to keep working on that. But, again, our offense has not really been the problem this year. I mean, you, you can always ask for we could shoot better, I think. We haven't turned it over. Um, we've, we've scored. We've gotten good looks. We've gotten good situations. Um, you know, we got balanced five guys in double figures, and Kadari's right there. But our defense has just got to get better. That's the bottom line. If our defense doesn't get better, we, we won't win. That's, that's it. That's, it's, it's a simple 